When setting up AnyConnect in the Cisco ASA firewall, the first step should always be to get the AnyConnect files from Cisco. Without those files, you cannot get it up and running. You need to go to cisco.com and download the files. The easiest way to find the download place is to go to cisco.com and go to download. In the download, you can write AnyConnect in the search field. You will get a choice. And here you will have a choice of different versions where 4.0 or 4.x is the newest version and 3.x is the previous version and the choice without any versions is really old versions. You should never use this one. The choice between version 3.x and 4.x depends on which licenses you have in the firewall. For 3.x, you have premium or essentials licenses. For 4.x, you need to have Apex licenses or plus licenses. So depending on which licenses you have, you must choose between version 3 or version 4. In my case, I will use version 3. And let's have a look at what's available there. You will have and find a list of many, many files for download of Cisco AnyConnect. To the left, you will find different versions of AnyConnect. In the case of 3.x, I only see the latest one now. And for 4.x, you have many different versions to choose between. The thing here in this list of files is that you need to find the PKG files. The PKG files, like this one, is a file that you move into the firewall flash. That's actually the only type of file you need. There is one PKG file for Linux, and there is one for Linux 64-bit. If we scroll further down, there would be one for Mac, PKG for Mac, and one PKG file for Windows as well here somewhere. These are the four files you need. For each operating system that you want to support client connection from, you need to have the PKG files. So if you only need to support Windows clients to connect with any connect ever, you only need to download the Windows file, this file here, AnyConnect Win and so on and .pkg. If you also want to support Macintoshes, you need to download the OS X version as well, this one, PKG here, and so on for Linux versions. If you have not installed a file for any of these operating systems, the client will not be able to connect at all. I recommend you to download at least three of them, maybe even four, Linux, Linux 64, OS X, and Windows. You find the correct files by looking at the extension. It's .pkg. Those files need to be downloaded locally. You can download them one by one by clicking the download button, or you can add to cart multiple files and you can download the entire cart later on if you install some kind of download manager. Except for the PKG files, there are installable files as well. There is a Windows ISO file that contains many different files. That contains one MSI file that you can pre-install on clients. There is one DMG file for OS X. This one that you can mount in OS X and install. So it contains an installer. There is also installer files for Linux. For mobile devices, like Android, OS X, and Windows Mobile, there is no PKG file. You don't need that to support those clients. These are for computers, actually, that you need the PKG files. So the PKG files are mandatory. Everything else is optional. You download the file locally to your computer. In the next video, I will show you how to upload those PKG files to your firewall to enable AnyConnect.